Hello students, my name is Neerthi Sait and thanks for watching Edvedia Word videos. My topic for the presentation is the third section of the chapter Neural Control and Coordination. In this chapter, we'll be studying about the myelinated and non-myelinated neurons. But before proceeding towards our main topic, I would like to tell you about the white and the grey matter of brain. As we know that the brain has millions of neurons which are packed together by the connective tissue cells called as neuroglial cells. And each neuron has a cell body which is called as cyton and the nerve fibers such as exon and dendron. Hence, the brain is made up of two substances and which are those grey matter and white matter. Okay. So, you can say that the white and grey matter refer to the two regions of the central nervous system. Now, what is white matter? White matter is a region which is dominated by myelinated axons appear glossy white and they are called as white matter. In simple words, you can say that white matter, it is present in the center of the brain. And white matter, it is made up of myelinated nerve fibers of neurons. Whereas, grey matter, grey matter, it forms the outer layer of the brain and it is made up of cell bodies or the cytons of the neurons. And grey matter is the region which is dominated by neurons, cell bodies, dendrites and unmyelinated axons which appear dusky grey and that is called as grey matter. Okay, now we'll be studying myelinated fibers in de detail. Okay, so a myelin sheet is an essential part of our nervous system. Uh, this is the uh, structure of the neuron. Okay, neuron. Uh, you can say that it uh, neuron they transmit information to other neurons through cord-like structures. For example, if you have a smartphone, you can play along with the example I'm about to give that if not, don't worry and just watch the screen. If you have just taken a picture with your smartphone and want to transfer it to your computer, you can take out the cord and plug one end into your smartphone and the other end into your computer. The image which you have captured from your mobile is nothing more than a piece of information. So this information can be transferred via the cord into the computer. Likewise, your neurons, they transmit information from one neuron, which is this, to the another neuron through a series of signals that travel along cord-like structure. Okay, so myelin sheet, we are uh, about to study the myelinated fibers. Okay, now myelinated fi myelin sheet, uh, myelinated fibers means the uh, neuron fibers which is made up of myelin sheet. Okay, so myelin sheet is an electrically insulated layer which is wrapped around the axon. Th these are the axon. Okay, uh, and this is a myelin sheet which has wrapped the entire axon in it and this myelin sheet it increases the speed of the electrical conduction also okay so uh, that means electrical conduction increases many folds if the myelinated sheet is present Now, myelinated fibers, they form the bulk of the somatic nerves. Structurally, they are made up of following parts from, the, from uh, within outwards. We'll see what are they. First is your axis cylinder. Okay. Axis cylinder is this. 
that means it forms the central core of the fiber it consists of exoplasm which is covered by exolemma exoplasm means the cytoplasm of the exon this is the cytoplasm of the exon which is filled with it then that is known as exoplasm and uh, the layer which is covered which is covering the exoplasm is known as exolemma okay so uh, this is your axis cylinder that forms the central part or the central core of the fiber and it consists of exoplasm uh, covered by the exolemma okay which is a membrane like a structure okay and these are the swan cells from here to here this is your exon and these are your dendrites and this is the cytone of the neuron body okay and this is what is this this is your myelin sheet okay this is your myelin sheet this is the zoom view of it these are the two compartments of the exon these are the swan cells okay and this is the exon central axis cylinder you can say this is the node of ranvier between the two exons and this is neuri lemma and this is the myelinated sheet okay that has the capability of electrical conduction okay and please note that uh, these swan cells th this myelin sheet is made of a material called myelin which is produced by special so cells known as swan cells swan cells are the cells in the peripheral nervous system that form the myelin sheet that means the myelin sheet pro uh, production is done by swan cells okay and they are uh, present in the uh, neuron exons okay and what is this node of ranvier this node of ranvier the key thing to note here is that the cells that produce myelin in order to form a myelin sheet around the exon do not cover the entire exon and they are called as unmyelinated gap between myelin sheet surrounding an exon that we call it as node of ranvier these nodes they exist for a reason that i will get into it uh, in just a little bit of time okay so you can say that node of ranvier is a depolarized region also okay now the second part is your uh, myelin sheet which is derived from the swan cells which i have just shown you and it is made up of alternate concentric layers of the lipid and uh, your uh, protein which is formed by the specialization of the meso mes exon the lipid includes cholesterol glycolipids and phospholipid so myelin sheet is made up of lipid and protein okay which is formed by the spiralization of the meso exon okay myelin sheet it is interrupted at the regular intervals called as node of ranvier okay which i have just shown you in the previous diagram where the adjacent swan cells meet okay and the collateral branches of the exon they arise at the node of ranvier myelin sheet it acts as a insulator for the nerve cells and thicker exons they possess a thicker coat of myelin and the longer internodes and each internode is myelinated by one swan cell okay swan cell is present somewhere here in the periphery of the myelin of the myelin sheet of the exon okay so this is the second part now the third uh, part of the myelinated sheet is a neurolemmal sheet okay uh, which is also known as sheet of swan that surrounds the myelin sheet that means after myelin sheet there is one more sheet which we call it as neurolemmal sheet which is also known as sheet of swan it represents the plasma membrane of the swan cells or you can say that swan cells uh, uh, plasma membrane is known as neurolemmal sheet and beneath the membrane there lies a thin layer of cytoplasm with the nucleus of the swan cells 
the sheet of two cells they interdigitate at the node of Ranvier. This is the node of Ranvier. So the sheet of two cells they just interdigitate at the node of Ranvier. So this was the third component of the myelinated sheet or the myelinated uh, neurons. Now the fourth component is neurolemal sheet and endoneurium. So the neurolemal sheet is necessary for regeneration of damaged nerve which we just studied neurolemal sheet. It, it is necessary for the regeneration of a damaged nerve. And tracts do not regenerate that means the tract that the path or the gastrointestinal tract they do not regenerate because of the absence of the neurolemal sheet. Okay, now the fifth component of the myelinated neuron is endoneurium. Endoneurium is a delicate connective tissue sheet which surrounds the neurolemal sheet. That means above myelinated sheet there is a neurolemal sheet and above neurolemal sheet there is an endoneurium. So and what is endoneurium? Endoneurium is a delicate connective tissue sheet which surrounds the neurolemal sheet. Okay, so these are the five components of the myelinated sheet. Now, what is the function of unmyelinated neurons? Uh, why there is existence of unmyelinated neuron when myelinated neuron has a good electrical conductivity? Then what's the function of the unmyelinated neuron? So the action potential in neuron which I have already taught you in my previous section of the presentation please refer to that presentation. Uh, so uh, action potential in neurons that lack myelin sheet it travel much more slowly than action potential in equivalent neuron sheeted in myelin. Okay, so and the speed of the action potential it is also dependent on the diameter of the axon. If the diameter of the axon is thick, that means if the axon is covered with the myelinated sheets, a neurolemma sheet, and endoneurium, then the speed of the action potential will be very much higher than the uh, if we compare it with the a small diameter axon. Wider axons they have lower resistance than narrow axons and signals can travel faster in the larger axons. Okay, and some invertebrates such as squids they have giant unmyelinated axon that can transmit signals rapidly. See this is myelinated axon which has a myelin sheet covering over the axon okay and in which action potential jumps from here to here here to here and and this is the speed of the depolarization and this is the unmyelinated axon in which the action potential moves from here to here okay so I hope uh, function of the unmyelinated neuron is clear to all of you that wider uh, axons they have low resistance than narrow axons and signals can travel faster in the larger axon uh, okay and the uh, speed of the action potential is dependent on the diameter of axon and uh, as as I have told you that in the unmyelinated axons which lack uh, myelin sheet uh, the action potential travel much more slowly than the action potential in equivalent neuron sheeted in myelin okay now what's the difference between myelinated nerve fiber and non myelinated nerve fiber is uh, the nerve that are insulated by a sheet or the myelin is called as myelinated nerve fiber okay uh, that means uh, the axon which uh, is covered with the myelin sheet and what is myelin sheet myelin sheet is made up of lipid and protein so if the axon of a nerve fiber is covered with the myelin sheet then that is known as myelinated nerve fiber or myelinated neurons now what is 
non myelinated nerve fiber non myelinated nerve fiber is the nerve which lacks such sheet such myelin sheet and so they are called as non myelinated nerve fiber now the second difference is that uh, myelin sheet as i have told you that they are made up of lipid and protein so they appear white okay so that's the reason they appear white and the uh, non myelinated nerve fiber they appear gray because of the absence of the myelin sheet so uh, gray matter forms the non myelinated nerve fiber whereas the white matter of the brain forms the myelinated nerve fiber so myelinated nerve fiber they are made up of lipid and protein and so they appear white in color okay and uh, whereas uh, they appear gray because of the absence of the myelin sheet Now the third difference is that these have the nodes of Ranvier, which always stays constant in number. That means it doesn't vary with time. Okay, so these have uh, nodes of Ranvier, which always stays constant in number. But uh, in non-myelinated nerve fiber, they do not have node of Ranvier. Okay. node of ranvier is a uh, connecting link between two schwann cells you can say okay and uh, and schwann cell is the main producer of the myelin sheet okay that's the reason uh, schwann cells are also absent in the non myelinated nerve fibers now nerve fibers outside the cns uh, are myelinated okay but the post ganglionic uh, sympathetic nerves they are non medulated so uh, students please don't get confused with the non medulated and non myelinated uh, words because they both are same non myelinated nerve fiber and non medulated nerve fiber they both are same there is no difference so don't get confused with it and these are the four uh, distinguishing uh, factors between myelinated nerve fiber and non myelinated nerve fiber so i hope it is clear to all of you now now in my next section of the presentation will be studying about how saltatory conduction or the how uh, action potential conducts uh, um, in myelinated nerve fiber so till then stay tuned and keep watching edupedia word videos thank you